all right hey everybody uh update on where we're at with the hot dog cart um had a lot of things going on everything that can break is breaking so we, we got that whole issue going on uh overdrive's gone out on the blazer well it, it works until the transmission gets hot and then and then it starts slipping and then you just got to basically pull it down to drive and it does fine and drive i mean no slipping anything in that but uh you can't get over 55 miles an hour and even at 55 miles an hour it's tacking pretty high rpms but anyway um monday going to go pay for the commissary and gonna walk around check it out and everything uh tuesday i'm off i'm gonna see if i can't have the inspector possibly meet us on tuesday and uh it may be thursday because we still got to get the um schematic for the hot dog cart really don't understand why they got to have that but um our hot dog cart is so old and it's there's none out there like it anymore i mean there may be but we can't find any schematics for it i mean just the way the water tanks and all are on it and uh we got to do that i think i'm just going to hand draw something real rudimentary just to show them where it's at he said it's got to be to scale but um i don't know how to scale it'll be anyway to do that if we can get that done um by Tuesday, I'm gonna go ahead and get the inspection done Tuesday. And then all I gotta, gotta do is go to the town of Zebulon and uh, pay for the permit from them and good to go. And then I'm gonna run around and try to get the permits from everybody else I need, which would probably be um, Clayton, um, Wendell, and Smithfield. Um, I think that's gonna be it for right now. Um, I do want to get a spot. I'd like to get a spot out at the flea market and Riley at the fairgrounds on the weekends. I need to check with availability, see what spots they do have and where they're located at. Like, I don't want to be like right next to Port of Johns or anything like that, which I don't think they have Port of Johns. Well, I know they don't. They have a brick building for bathrooms. But, uh,. Yeah, I want to see what locations I could get as far as where I can put the cart at. Because I know there's vendors that come and go out there a lot. So, And there's other ones that, I mean, have been there literally forever. And I mean, since I was young, it's still in the same spot. They're probably still trying to sell some of the same stuff, too. Um, that they've had for 40 years out there trying to get rid of. But yeah, moving right along. Because, uh the first of November there is a lot of events coming up um, we got a vendor event um, I guess it's gonna be like a food truck rodeo kind of thing not just food trucks but carts and everything in Zebulon I think the first week in Zebulon and um, got Christmas parade and Zebulon that's like first week of December that's gonna be uh, we're where we're, our cart is going to be every day is right on the parade route. So that will be awesome for us that day. Uh, I think we're going to have to make sure the whole family's off that day because we're going to need all hands on deck. Definitely for that. I uh, would like to also have the uh, other stand, our lemonade stand, up for that day. That's going to be hard to do. That's giving me one month to get this thing built but i think it can be done i mean if we get if we get the whole family in on this um because i want to get it built which i mean it's going to require about six sheets of plywood and really wouldn't even require it i mean we could literally just get a canopy and some tables and do it that way um but i would rather do it the way i'm planning on doing it with the pop-up camper and i don't think I posted the videos about the pop-up camper yet, but it's basically a pop-up camper that we took all the canopy off of. I'm rebuilding the roof on it. Um, the parts that pull out on the sides um, where the beds would normally be at, they're still going to be pulled out. That's where we're going to put product at. 
um, Kim wants to sell like old-fashioned candy and stuff like that and um, I mean just candy in general but a lot of like uh, hard to find candies too and I think that's a great idea um, so that's where that stuff's gonna be sitting at and I'm we're gonna have a canopy kind of going over top of them because you don't want the Sun shining directly on stuff like that and of course we're gonna be selling the lemonade um, we're getting a cotton candy machine no we're not getting one of the uh, two thousand dollar super huge commercial cotton candy machines like you see at the state fair and all that no we're not we're not going that road that may be something down the road but um, we're getting cotton candy machine and 99% of our cotton candy will be made beforehand before we go out and um, we'll be bagged up and we'll be hanging around the, um, the trailer uh, we are getting at least two of the uh, the manual juicers and I've got to get up with Ben or somebody on Vendors United and find out where to get the cups for the lemonade at. The stirrups, I believe is what it's called, or something like that. Cups, the big cups, because that's what we're going to want to do is that, that size. And uh, probably selling them for between five and seven dollars a piece. That's what I've been hearing everybody on Vendors United what they're doing them for and I mean and they're selling them like crazy and if the weather stays like this it's, it's still going to be freaking warm then because it's um it's what October 26 today I believe and it's um I'm looking at my thermometer up here it is 83 degrees out and it's, it's kind of freaking hot here in the car but yeah, that's the update for now. Commissary, Monday, hopefully inspection. I'm gonna say Tuesday's probably gonna be pushing it. Uh, inspection, my next day off will be Thursday, so we'll try for Thursday on the inspection. But I'll take whatever day he can do. I mean, cause I'm closing at work every day this week, so I could do any day during the morning. I could drive the cart, pull the cart down there and see how it goes um i think i've got pretty much everything ready to go like i said except for that schematic drawing <clears throat> um we got our menu board it's not what we want i mean it's a hundred year old menu board from a hotel uh but they do require you to have a menu and it to be not like a paper menu but something that you can stand there and see from a distance um and i believe we've got pretty much everything else done um as far as sealing up all the gaps and everything in the hot dog carts because they require everything every gap has to be siliconed up there can't be any place where two pieces of metal meet that is not siliconed up um yeah, very strict about that. But, uh, yeah. So, I'll let y'all know on Tuesday. Um, I'll probably run through and do a tour of the commissary. And show you what it looks like. Alright, everybody. Have a good day.